Hi, this is Saul with SaulCast, and I just want to go through real quick another OpenVMS uh, short tutorial. Um, this is OpenVMS 7.3 uh, running on the VAX emulator Sim H. Um, I have details about uh, that in a different uh, video that I have posted if you just check my uh, channel. You can see more information regarding that. Um, uh, here, um, I want to go through real quickly uh, loading new licenses uh, for your OpenVMS system. Um, let's say you you already have some licenses installed. So we do show license, and then I'll show you what licenses you have installed on your system. And they're going to scroll through kind of fast, but you can kind of get the idea. Um, let's see. So you see here, lists all these licenses, and this is for the layered products. And it says here they're going to expire on November uh, 26th of 2008, which is just a few days from now. So usually with the license, the licensing scheme for OpenVMS from HP, um, you have to, in order to get these licenses, after you have the actual OpenVMS software, uh, you have to register with an HP community website. Uh, so you can be an HP community member and they have these websites set up uh, for different uh, countries in the world and and look and different uh, locations um, so you can basically check that out I'll put some information about that uh, with this video um, so right now you see it says the license are going to expire so I already have a, a new license file in in uh, a directory here so let me try go to that directory and let's see Whoops, wrong command. And right now we're going to change directories. And for those that don't know, set def, uh, which is actually set default. You're setting the default file lo uh, directory location. And right now that on my file system, where the file I have, this is where it's at, DUA1. So now we're going to look at those files. And we see here the one we need is lp.com and it's just a dcl script but before we can run that and all that all the lp.com script is is uh it contains the license licensing information that i obtained through uh, the, the hp community membership um, when you get a license from hp it comes in a text file and and it'll be emailed to you and you just can just copy and paste that into a notepad file and then upload that via FTP or SFTP however you want to do that to your VMS system and then you can run that as a COM script which is just a DCL uh, script it's a scripting language that the open VMS shell uses to run commands um, anyways so now getting back to what we're doing now uh, we need to first uh, delete all the licenses that are currently on the system so we're going to run license delete and for product instead of having one single product which you can do we're going to delete all of them so you can just use a wild card and it's going to take a few seconds just give it give it a little while okay now we want to load the new ones so we can go through and just run and when you run a, want to run want to run a DCL script you put the at symbol and then the name of the file and it's running the file now and just give it a second wait till we get a prompt again it's putting all the new licenses in the VMS license database this takes a few seconds Okay, now before it'll be ready, we have to load the new licenses. So we run the command license load. And there we go, it says it's unloading the old one, loading the new ones. 
it's going to go through all the layered products and now it's finished do show license and if you see on the right hand side it says November 2009 so we've now updated all the licenses uh, the layered product licenses for the open VMS system um, so I hope you enjoyed that quick uh, tutorial and uh, <coughs> uh, I'll I'll try to post some more soon. Thank you.